How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? About to get in the fuzz. What's going on, people? What's going on, people? It is the day of another day of another day that we call Sunday. Anybody been said what's going to be for whole body doing everything as far as being prosperity in the life of living and as far as going out if you went out last night hopefully you made it back home okay if you brought someone home you know i'm gonna tell you make sure you watch all your stuff because at the end of the day sometimes people didn't come just to visit they come to do a little shopping um and don't forget the biggest thieves look like the most nicest people in the world and stuff just like the biggest criminals look like the cutest person you're going to meet and stuff and yet still they be out here killing us anyway this is the thing. Now, I was going to go out yesterday and stuff like that, and a friend of mine said, well, why are you going to go when you know that they don't like you, so why would you go? And I was like, you know how you know something, but then you see it, but you don't see it, and then somebody bring it to your attention, and they're like, well, you know, they don't like you and stuff like that, so, and it's funny because, like, I never had a disagreement with people, I never had an argument and stuff like that, but... I knew what they were saying was very true because I could kind of tell by the way they were treating me and stuff as far as when I was around. But I'm going to tell you something. As an older person, getting older, you stop caring. I learned something about myself that I really didn't pay any mind and stuff is that I stopped listening to people. I stopped listening to people. I stop even trying to help people as much as I used to. I mean, I always say, for those who are going to listen, will listen. Those who won't, just won't. Those who are going to rock with you are going to rock with you. And what those who just won't, just won't. I learned that no matter what I do, in a lot of cases, not all, but it's never good enough. Like they find anything they can on me just to put me down. Now, me, myself, I try to be much more... I don't know, I, I got more political, trying to be much more responsible with my words and stuff. And I basically bit my tongue a lot of times and I just stopped being who I was and stuff because I didn't want to offend anyone. But yet I noticed that people had no problem offending me. And I watched it spill over into the men that come into my life and stuff. Not coming to my life to stay, but just coming to my life to play me out and then when I catch on they go. Now, this is the thing. I learned that some people you just can't help. Some people need to learn the hard way. Some people is not your friend. Some people don't mean you no good. Sometimes the biggest wolves that sit in front of you is the disguise, disguise of being a friend. Now, we already know. As far as me being Ubala land, becoming who I am and stuff, um, I've had a lot of bad feedback and reference to men and stuff like that, and I get attacked a lot. You know, and the thing about it is that I don't go after men. Now, some girls may do, but I don't. I don't chase no men. I don't go after them, but I learned that a lot of times men feel they have the right to disrespect you. And I guess it's from that old thing of, like, Kawachi Color Purple, um, and she don't do what you want beat her or make her obey you, you know. And the thing about it with me is that I guess I'm a big bitch at the end of the day. Because they think they're going to need an elephant gun and shoot that bitch. But I stopped caring. And then when it came down to the girls and stuff, I tried to be there as far as my, the dolls and stuff, like myself. I tried to be there with them and, and support them and, and try to be much more positive in their life as far as their journey and stuff because I understand they have so much that they go through and stuff and I understand that they have been hurting I understand that they gone through a lot now I don't know exactly how they feel but as a woman to another woman that's two spirit we got a good idea that that girl is hurting that's why it bothers me so bad when another girl attacks another girl so when you're a brick you're a brick you're a brick well baby if you feel as though the word brick can come out your mouth then maybe it's because you feel like you are a brick and my thing is this, I don't think that you, unless it's an argument, you know, it's an argument, you already know it's at war, but my thing is this, 
What I used to do was, when I got to earn one of my sisters and stuff like that, the girls like me, I would just let her have it. I'll just take an L. I'll take a loss and go ahead, girl. You know, go whatever, you know. And Because I understand your journey is going to be hard like mine. Sure, we hurt you. Sure, we may take out things with each other we, not, we, may, we may not really mean. But reality is that I know your journey. And you know mine. And you know, we really need to be much more there than against each other. And the thing about it was that another girl me up. She didn't even say hi to me. Where do you get your hormones? Damn, they'll get a high. Do I get a hello? Or something? No, I get nothing. And it's the part about it was that a lot of times girls feel like they can take hormones and stuff. That it's going to happen overnight. And it's not. Some girls have to pay for it like me. Some girls don't have that. Don't have to do that. And some girls just do. I'm the one that did. I already told you before, I got my body pumped, I told you before, this is not hormones, I told you before, everything got pumped to the gods, yes it was, yes, it was um, black market, no you shouldn't do it again, but the thing about it, when you're younger, you're doing this stuff, you're not aware of all the complications that may come with this, sure I may be sitting on a bomb that I may realize, sure I may end up dying from it, sure if I lose weight that the still will press against my bone and make me start getting some type of bacteria infection, or well, I may start collapsing and stuff, spasms you know you never really know so god forbid for that but i try to share a lot and stuff and the thing about it was that sometimes i learned with a lot of girls they're going to be some going to receive you and i love you you already know who you all are but you know it's funny because some girls just try to find something to make everything you say negative like it's always something is it my clothes is my dress it's, you know it's always something Instead of giving me that support they give you, when I could easily, trust me, I could easily come after a lot of you girls. Like, we could always go word for word and stuff like that. I don't do that to my sisters. But a lot of things about me now is that I'm getting older and I'm learning not to give a fuck. Like, I really don't care anymore. Like, I don't care. I don't care about looking passable. I don't care about looking beautiful. I don't care about that stuff. Now, when I come in front of the camera and stuff like that, I try to present myself to you. But if you're watching my Instagram, you can tell I ain't got no makeup on, no foundation, no nothing. It's just plain Jane. Whatever you see, it is what it is. And the thing about it is that, you know, I, I, I tried to encourage people living their truth. And I guess I really wasn't. Because I took my tongue and I bit it. Because I didn't want to hurt nobody's feelings. But I learned that I need to start hurting people's feelings. And also I learned something that I didn't learn, that I, I watched my other sisters do for a long time. And I never did it because I didn't want to hurt anyone. My sisters, girls like me, they don't speak to the guys. Like the guys hit them up, they won't talk to them. They won't say one word to the us about my money. But they don't want to be bothered with the BS. Me, myself, I made myself accessible where they can get in contact with me. And I learned the hard way once again, like a dumb dumb. A lot of guys' intentions are not good. A lot of people's intentions are not good when they contact you. And I think about it with guys' stuff. I give them my information so they can talk to me and stuff like that. And they'll play with me. I'll play with them. They'll get, offended. they'll get offended. And next thing you know, I'm getting attacked. And the thing about it is that you hit me up. I don't hit you up. I don't bother people. I really don't. It takes a lot. Same when you see me on Instagram. Whatever people got to say, you got to grab my arm or stop me. I'm not going to say nothing to you because that's just not me. And if you're the kind of person that's nice stuff like they come up with respect, of course they're going to respect you. But I know being a belly to be some people are just playing out mean to each other for no reason and stuff. And I try to talk to so many different people and stuff like that and I, I, I just don't, I don't care anymore. Like I've gotten older and I learned I can't help everybody. Sometimes you have to throw the white flag in the surrender and say, you know what, Never, let another girl do it because I can't do it anymore. You know, and, it's, and this is the message not for my sisters who rock me. But it's for a lot of the girls who are against me and also against your other sister stuff, which is really sad. And also it's for the dudes who sit up there and just play us like a joke. But at the end of the day, you don't want that same joke put on you. But you just suspect us to the highest. And it's just wrong. So I got to a point I just don't care. Like, I don't care. If I got a boy clothes, girl clothes, I don't care. It is what it is. Anyway, the best that I just want to share this with you on a Sunday, like I said before, you can follow me on Instagram, that's Raven underscore over, that's Raven underscore over and stuff like that. You can see my journey and everything I'm trying to do. And if you're a positive person, give me feedback. If you're negative, please don't bother. Please don't. 
Anyway, the man said, I'm gonna let you know I love you. Anyway, thank you for watching. You can't do any. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, people. Like I said before, it's Raven and Score Over. You can get a chance to see a lot of things that I do that I really didn't put on YouTube because of copyright reasons. See you there. Love you.